What's up my dudes, that one guy too, come back at you here with a tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how I made the custom farms in the 4-way soul link. So basically, for Spitz, for Sword and Shield, and I believe the Let's Go games too, you're going to need this program called Swiss Toolbox. I'll have the link for it down in the description. Uh, but you also will need to know the Pokemon ID number that's in the photo. So when you extract the game, the ROM FS of the game, it will come out as the game ID, and then you just go through, find where's the Pokemon models, with all the models under the archive photo. And so then you just click Pokemon, and you can choose the Pokemon. So, I already bought up Pikachu here. Um, but if you need to find like a certain Pokemon, whatever, I also have another link down below where you can go and basically find the Pokemon you're looking for. Uh, Generation 1 through 5 has uh, them in the National Dex, but 6, 7, and 8 are in a different order. But yes, so when you first load it, load it up, nothing will be here. You drag on the JF pack of the Pokemon that you want. So like 25 is Pikachu. So I'll just hit the plus and then you always want to go to quick access. And if you just want to look at the Texas, you can just click Texas and you can view all the Texas. But what I like to do so doing that is I'll come over here to model so that way we can actually see the Pikachu model here. So let's let's make this Pikachu into a fairy type, shall we? So what I always do, I always right right click the, the Texas photo that's not in the models, and then export. And then you just pick a photo. So I'm just going to make a new photo in here. Select. And then this little box will pop up. Always change it to PNG. And then there you go. Now. Now if I bring over the photo. Uh, let me find where the photo actually is. Hold up. Whoa, did it export it too? No, oh, okay, so I brought it over there. Okay. Now let me bring up. So this is the photo that I exported it to. As you can see, there's all these textures. Now, we don't have to worry about these. You can delete these. You don't have to worry about these. Basically, if it doesn't say uh, C O L or L Y C, you can just delete them. Because we do not need them. Also, the Pokemon has a sphere. Then you need the sphere file. But Pikachu does not have a sphere. So, we don't need to worry about the sphere. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm not going to worry about making a shiny variant. So, I'm, I'm going to delete all the ones that say rare. Because the ones that say rare are the shinies. So, I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. Now, you want to open up your choice of your photo editing software. I personally use Adobe Photoshop, but you can use GIMP or any other kind of program that you want. Now, you want to select So, now what I want to do 
I want to put little hearts. In, oh my gosh, if it will let me open this up in another model. Oh, there we go. I want to put little hearts into Pikachu's eyes. So I'm just going to do a quick Google search of little white hearts. Now I'm going to save the image and I'm just going to go ahead and just drag this on here. So now I don't want all of these. I just want this tiny one right here. So I'm going to smart select just this heart. And I'm going to copy it into a new layer and then I could delete this layer. Right, right. So now I can, wrong one. I can now grab the heart and move it wherever I want. So what I want to do, I'm gonna zoom in here so I can get a better look at this. I'm going to transform this heart and I'm gonna place it right here on the eye. Now I'm going to duplicate it Then I'm going to flip it horizontally. Oh, I did not mean to do that. And I'm going to drag it over here. But as you can see, it's, this is the angry eye one. So what I'm going to do, get up nice and close, grab my eraser tool. And I'm going to erase it so it looks like that. And now I think I'm going to duplicate it again. Go ahead, flip it again, and then bring it over here. Actually, no, let's not do this one. Let's do just this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Duplicate. Yes, we can bring it down here, right? Now we're going to do the same thing, just erase the heart, blah, blah, blah. And basically you just do this, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to quickly just add one more heart because we just have one more heart to do there we go now we have Pikachu with hearts for eyes it's not the best what I can possibly do with this like what if I was doing this without a tutorial I would probably like would change the color of the original pupil or whatever but I'm just gonna leave that for now um now what we want to do we're gonna change this yellow to like a pink so what we're gonna do we're going to change we're gonna replace this yellow and let's try to find a pink. And there we go. That looks like a good pink. So now I'm going to remember this real quick. So I just screenshotted that and I'm going to keep this up and
And same with you. I'm going to change the icon and uh, I think it's
open up over here. Let me open it up real quick. Open up PKNX. If it ever decides to open up. There we go. So PKNX over here. And you can come over here to Pokemon. You can mainly scroll through. But you can just type in the Pokemon. Luckily Pikachu is only number 25. So it's easy to get here. So I want to have Pikachu keep in the electric typing. But let's change it. Also to be. A fairy type. So yeah that's. Now Pikachu when I hit save right here. It's going to be a fairy type. You can also change the stats. Change the launch set, how it evolves, all that fun stuff just from here. So now I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now I will see you guys here in a second to show you what this Pikachu looks like in game. But first, make sure when you, you actually physically close PKNX, or it won't save anything you just did. Alright, now let's just quickly get over... We're well, in game now, so let's just quickly get over who Pikachu is. And my complete living decks. Uh, shiny living decks, mind you. Um, so, Pikachu here. It was the male one we changed, but you see, but both of them, the typing has changed. But, so, you see, Pikachu technically has two, hang on, I need to change it back. Pikachu technically has two models. It's the female one, and then it's the male one. As you can see, we didn't change the, sh the shiny one. So let me change this, let me change this back real quick to the let me f let me get a non shiny pikachu real quick all right so here we go see i call it a non a non shiny pikachu here so let's look at the summary and you see look it's the custom pikachu right here so yeah so that's just a quick tutorial of how you can do it if you have any questions uh Hit me up in the comments or on Twitter or wherever you can reach out to me. I, I'm more than willing to answer anybody's questions. All it has to do with game mods, although it's Sword and Shield, the 3DS games, or if it has to do with just randomizing any of the Pokemon games, I'm more than willing to help anybody out with that. But without further ado, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick tutorial, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.